Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. After day one of Serie A Team of the Season, it just feels like all we have to say is it is EA's world and we are just living in it. These Serie A Tots cards yesterday started out on the market and in this game one way and just a few hours later, their prices were crashing and now the whole entire market, if we take a look at a lot of prices from other Team of the Season cards as well, are crashing very heavy in price because of one specific player pick that was dropped in the store. We're going to take a look at that today. Everything that went on with Serie A team of the season yesterday. And will the market keep crashing today? Because there's a lot of movement on this game. A lot of cards got supplied big time yesterday. Will the market stay this low because of all the content that we had yesterday moving forward into today? So we're going to talk about a lot of that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the top yesterday with all the crazy content we have for Syria team of the season. We had a lot of objective content and a lot of subjective content as well. I have to notify you guys it's going to be going away one day early, right? This stuff, you do not have a normal seven days for these objectives. All of this objective content under this tab goes away when the season ends, which is in five days. It is on Thursday at Rivals Rewards. All of this objective tab will be going away. There will be a brand new season. Tot season swaps will be over as a whole nother conversation. So if you're trying to do Loriente, the Cup, or the Tots Draft Drive, which we'll talk about, you only have uh, five days to do it instead of, I guess, like seven. So that's kind of that there. But we did have a player's BC, our player objective yesterday with Loriente. Kind of just okay. He does have five-star skills, which is nice. Nothing super crazy there. Similar to a Kone, right? Can play on the left side or the right side. Not a bad card, but does have the five-star skills. Decent one there. The real objective content was the cup and the Tots draft drive. Nice to have a draft objective once again. For me, do I really enjoy playing draft? Not a whole lot. I'm probably not going to do this objective just because the gameplay grinds for me aren't my favorite. And I'm going to get enough XP that I don't have to play this draft. But if you're looking for XP, they did drop a decent amount yesterday. Play one, play six, and win one to get the XP. The rewards in here are pretty solid. 85-3. Um, you do have to win a lot of games to get this entire thing done. Win 20 games, get an 86 double. Win 10 to get the Royal Magnoli Tots card and a double 84 pack as well. But uh, there are some nice rewards in there. There's an 11 81 Serie A pack for playing 10 draft games. It's just kind of another fun mode to grind that we haven't really had motivation to grind for a while because the rewards in draft aren't that great. But getting these extra rewards and the XP, it's a W. There's also an SBC that go along goes along with this that instead of having to pay 15k to play a draft all you have to pay is 7,000 coins or an 81 rated squad so that is a must do SBC if you plan to do any of these drafts you basically get to enter the draft for half the price it's a big W there we also had a cup right and again the cup is not out for as many days uh, because this objective is going to be going away early but they reduced the number of wins you need only 8 wins and at that 8th win you get an 83 plus times 10 that's a very nice pack for this Serie A Cup objective. So I'm a big fan of that. Also, of course, you got the guaranteed Serie A Tots player that is in there as well. So that's something that's nice to see there. A decent day in objectives for sure. But again, just a reminder that this is going to be going away a day or so earlier than normal because it ends with the season end time. Now, that's kind of all that's going on with objectives there. SBCs, we had a big player SBC yesterday with, who I actually just completed with my duplicates, Romelu Lukaku. And the first thing that I looked for for this card, for the meta of the game, I looked for his agility stat. His agility stat is 87. This card cannot be lengthy. I'm sure he's decent in game, but I think that EA um, knew what they were doing when they made his price only 130,000 coins. He does have the five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Again, a fun card, nice one to do, but without being lengthy with the card of his type in this game, I would have to imagine that on new gen, specifically where that uh, accelerate really matters, he's going to be a bit clunky. Now I'm going to try him out and give a go with his card, but the price here is what's really nice, right? It's kind of a big name player, Lukaku. Have, hasn't had a ton of really meta and usable special cards this year. Um, again, I was hoping that he would end up being lengthy, but he is controlled on every single chem style. Probably going to throw an engine on him, but the five-star weak foot is very nice. Uh, and if you like scoring headers, this is your guy. 99 heading and 85 jumping on a six-foot-three striker. Five-star weak foot. It's going to be a, a fun card to at least try out in the cup this week if you need a striker there. And then, of course, we had a couple of players the months yesterday, one Eredivisie and one from the Serie A. Two pretty cheap SBCs there, one squad apiece. Not too bad. So it wasn't a crazy day in terms of objective content or SBCs. Objectives was nice. The real craziness happened 
on the market. Well, even before we go into that, some of the market was moving yesterday because of the Flash SBCs. The Flash SBC yesterday was an 85 times five pack. And for me, it really paid out. I ended up getting Di Maria and Di Lorenzo, both from Flash SBC. Some really good pulls there. I packed Di Maria like 10 minutes into the promo. I'm really excited to use this card. I'm sure he's going to be like cracked in game. A lot of us did his World Cup SBC for Team of the Tournament when Argentina won the World Cup earlier uh, this FIFA cycle. Uh, but yesterday was kind of a cracked day for me in terms of pack luck. I was able to get Di Maria and Barella from like a random small prime players pack or something like that. I don't even know where it was from. It was in my store. I opened it up and I got Barella out of it. It was crazy. That was when Barella was like 800,000 coins as well. So a W day of packs yesterday. And really, I think the Flash SBCs were a part of that. Those 85 times five packs, even though they were a bit expensive, gave people a really good opportunity to pack team of the season cards from League One or uh, from the Serie A, depending on when you opened that pack. So in my opinion, that was a really big W Flash SBC, and uh, it gave us a really good chance of packing Todd's cards yesterday. Now, the Todd's cards, of course, in this team, and you guys might be looking at these prices being like, Nate, what in the world has happened to these Tots cards? And that's what I want to talk about today because EA, again, like I said, it's EA's world and we're just living in it, guys. Yesterday... EA dropped that store player pick that we knew was going to be coming, right? We knew it was going to be coming at some point. We saw it add to the code. Last week with League On, that store player pick came out right away at the content drop at 6 p.m. Yesterday, it did not. They dropped it at a different time. They dropped it a couple hours after. And I've got some sad, sad news to sell you guys because I bought some cards yesterday when they were still very expensive and very rare, and I didn't end up getting the sales that I really wanted to. Guys, remember when Rabio, the first couple hours, was 1.7 mil? I still have my Rabio that I bought at 1.7 million coins. The market was just crashing, crashing, crashing for three to four hours on end. And look at how much these guys have died, man. Rabio was 1.7, 1.8 mil, and I bought two more Rabios tonight under a million coins. Oh my gosh, he's flying again. No shot. How much is Rabio? 1.3 mil. He was down at 970,000 coins. There was a ton of market crashing. If we take a look at some of these price drops, Dybala was extinct at 2.3 million coins. This player pick drops in the store. He goes from 2.3 mil all the way down to 1.3. And he just uh, was down at like 1.3 lows. He's back up to 1.43. The whole entire Serie A Tots team started off very expensive, and it didn't look like they were that supplied on the market. They were really, really rare. And all of a sudden, when that player pick dropped, and of course, it was during the peak of the kind of the supply or the demand, right? It was during the peak of the demand. I tweeted out yesterday. I said, only EA would drop a tradable player pick during the peak of foot champs, right? Because it was three hours after content when everybody was buying cards to their team and trying out these cards in foot champs that EA dropped that player pick and it just absolutely destroyed prices like we saw last week with the league one although th that player pick came out right at the beginning right so that was the story of the market yesterday and as i take a look at this rabio right now i'm actually kind of tempted to look at selling the card because he's 1.3 million coins 1.26 there on an undercut and i'm making a couple hundred thousand coins per card right now which is very very nice after losing a lot of coins yesterday i know a lot of people have lost a lot of coins on these Serie A tots cards just because of the crazy fluctuations that they have had. I still have a Tamori card, right? Tamori was 600,000 coins. These guys looked pretty rare, and they were. They were decently rare, but then all of a sudden, EA dropped that player pick, and these guys got absolutely destroyed. Now, the good thing about it is, yes, these prices are pretty cheap, and you look at this team and how cracked this team is, it looks really good for the prices now, right? You're like, man, 500K instead of 800K or 900K for what this Barella was. That makes you want to go and try out this card and it makes it look a lot better. The, this card, smalling for 120,000 coins, this is an absolutely insane center back for this price, right? Even Tomori, you look at the Tomori card and the stats that he has for 300,000 coins insane 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 card right that is the w part about all of this is that these cards are super duper cheap now they're super affordable and uh, i think that brings hype to this team of the season because again these cards are stacked and they are really really juiced up cards and again i think ea needed to drop this player pick yesterday although i wish they would have done it right away so the prices would not have crashed like this and there would not have been as many coins lost but that was a part of their plan right and that's why 
We always say this, that it's just EA's world, and we're kind of living in it. And I've mentioned that a couple of times today, but that also just kind of, again, reinforces the fact that this market is always changing. It's never 100% predictable. We think we can kind of, you know, nail it and think, okay, it's going to go up here, it's going to go down here. But really, guys, it's so, so hard to know when things are going to go up and down because EA are in full control all the time. And yesterday, they wanted to lose people a lot of coins. And they did. So that's kind of the whole situation with these Serie A Tots cards right now. I did pick up some cheap cards uh, at good prices. I picked up a Dybala at 1.38, um, considering he was almost extinct at 2.3. Now, I don't think he's going to get anywhere near that price, but could I see him being like 1.6 or 1.7 early today on Saturday? Yes. I picked up a couple of Barellas at like 5.20, 5.17. And then, as I said, I picked up a Rabio at 1 mil and a 9.98. I even bought a little bit too early on those. He went down to like 9.70, 9.80. 80 and now he's at 1.3 mil so we're making some good coins but we also lost a lot of coins yesterday as well um we made coins and lost it was both both sides of the coin right uh bought delict for 1.5 flat sold them for 169 165 now i want to show you guys this as well look at some of the league one tots cards man la gazette was 17 he's now 1.5 Ben Yedder was almost 800k. He's now 714. A lot of these cards had crazy rises yesterday with the start of Weekend League, and they are back down as well. Look at Verratti. Verratti was 380,000 coins. He's now back down to 350. Uh, the Lacazette is one that if I had coins right now, I would be very seriously looking into because he went from 1.6 all the way to 174 and is now like 1.5. That's too much of a drop-off. But the reason that is happening is because these new cards are cracked. People want to try them out, link them together, and people are just kind of changing their teams, and their prices have dropped off a ton. That Those are the reasons why stuff is dropping from the rest of the market. How about La Liga? Are any of these guys down a lot? Uh, Modric is down a decent amount. As I look through these prices really quick right here, Valverde, Llorente, they're down some. Uh, the Delict card, who I sold for 1.64, um, you know, like five, six hours ago, he's back down to 1.45. That's crazy, right? Now, some of these guys will rebound back a little bit. But again, every single week, we're seeing this when we get really juiced and insane Serie A team. The season cards are just a new league. This week is Serie A. You see a lot of those prices from other team the season squads end up dropping. So here's, what, again, what I would think would happen today. Some of these cards, as I'm seeing right now, as we're watching them, they're kind of rebounding back from their crazy low prices that they hit. Uh, we're talking Serie A team of the season cards, right? Um, you know, the Di Maria being 325 or this Rabiot being under a million. The Barella. Barella was three or 500,000 coins, almost 500k flat. It looks like he's going to be approaching maybe 600k this morning. Looks like he's still about 550. I would expect some of these Serie A Tots cards to rise back up a little bit in price uh, today on Saturday in the early morning hours until you get to maybe two, three, four hours before the content drop time today. They're probably going to drop off in value a decent amount. We saw that last week with the League One Tots cards, right? They had a nice bounce in the morning and then they dropped right back down into content as people were worrisome and they were kind of, I guess, worried about the prices dropping heading into content. That's going to affect the middle to high tier guys more than maybe a guy like a Chris Smalling. Like Chris Smalling at 120K is so cheap at this stage right now that like, what's he going to drop to? 100K? Well, that doesn't hurt as much as maybe buying... Um, Let's say you bought like Barella for 550K and then he goes down to like 450K by the time tonight happens. You know, that could be the case, but that might be a little bit drastic. So I would expect a rise in these this morning and then they would probably drop into the content time. Um, again, if you don't know what player pick we're talking about, I wish I could show you in the store. I opened them all. It's the 15,000 coin player pick, tradable three Serie A picks inside of it. Uh, that's the one that it is. It does not refresh for like three days. So it's not going to come back anytime soon and cause another round of supply on this game, uh, at least until I think that would end up being like, what, Tuesday or Wednesday? I don't, I don't exactly know what the timer was, but it's going to be a couple days until that could happen again. But that was just, that kind of describes what is going on in this game right now. A lot of people lost coins and are very disappointed in the market right now. I'm right there with you, but again, I would rather lose coins uh, when the card prices end up being really cheap and it makes content a bit better. And, you know, these guys seem halfway packable too, right? So it's never fun losing coins, but uh, that's kind of the situation that we are in at the moment with all of these Serie A team season cards. What a wild, wild day yesterday. 
on this game. So that's, again, the situation with Serie A team of the season. Some of your Serie A out-of-packs cards are down bad as well. Uh, just because this new team is so cheap, even though we did have a cup, I saw Lucio go down to like 60K. How much is Lucio? 50,000 coins, man. And I sold this guy yesterday before the content came out at 96K. He went all the way down to 50,000 coins. Some of your Serie A special cards did really good. Other ones did not. I actually still have a couple Rafael Leao. I don't know how low he got to, but he was very, very low. He was like 300K. Did he go back up? He did. Rafael Leao was back to like, okay, only up 25,000 coins. But um, a lot of your Serie A specials have dipped in price as well just because these brand new Tots cards are, again, super duper cheap. One thing I want to point out from yesterday, and EA, don't think that we didn't notice this, man. EA re-released a Team of the Season card into this team uh, that already had a Tots card. Kim Min Jae, he's got a new dynamic image, the exact same card that was in Community Team of the Season. You might recognize him for looking like this right here with kind of the uh, this, this dynamic, right? They changed up his dynamic image, gave him the exact same stats, and he was re-released back into packs under Serie A team this season. Uh, this is just unacceptable, in my opinion, because this is a card that a lot of people had invested in or even just had in their teams. It's like a 60,000 coin card, and now he is uh, less than 20K on this market. He is one of the cheapest TOTS cards in this game. People are losing loads of coins on him uh, because he was, again, re-released back into packs, which is crazy. So... I just think that that should be not something that happens. If you make it in a community team this season, how are you making it into the full league team of the season as well? I know it was a fan vote. I know all of that. And yeah, you could say it definitely is deserved. But still, um, I just don't like it. I don't like that from EA. I wish they would have upped his stats maybe. And now we have four center backs and packs for this team. That's a lot. So I'm not a big fan of that whatsoever. Uh, but we talked about that yesterday on stream. That's just kind of a wild thing that happened yesterday, if, especially because you can now get him in reds again, too, I would imagine. Although he is 89 rated, so he's a bit low rated for red picks. But that's kind of what happened yesterday on the market. Absolutely wild day. Not in a good way. I'm sure a lot of you guys made coins, but there's a lot of lost coins as well. And that can be very, very demoralizing for sure. Uh, but at least the content was decent. And I think today the content could continue to be pretty decent as well. We've got a couple leaked player SBCs and we have to talk about fodder guys at, uh, in this video, I do want to speak about a really, really high investment return potential on team of the season fodder card investing. And this is the time where we have to start to look at this because, um, you know, even one thing that I see right now, look at this. Kim Min Jae is one of the cheapest tots cards on this game is an 89 rated card. It's crazy. As I look at the objective section and them giving out an 83 times 10 inside of that one, the cup, right? That to me just signals that if they're giving out better packs there, they're going to be giving us fodder so that they can set us up for maybe what's to come. And this is the time every year where we start to see the team of the season cards just rising because they keep getting required in SBCs and especially as they go out of packs as we head into ultimate team of the season and beyond team of the season requirements will still be in SBCs to four packs for player SBCs and all that sort of stuff the content's not going to stop after team of the season is going to keep going so this is a really good investment that I would start to put kind of the bug in your ear for just to keep looking a bit into the future it may be a, a week premature still but if you can buy tots cards uh, some of the cheapest TOTS cards on the market. Any single team of the season card for 17K has kind of been my buy point. I've stocked a couple on the transfer list. You guys maybe saw it last week. Uh, I was talking about like that Andre Blake goalkeeper from the MLS. I've got a few of him here on the transfer list, like 16,000 coins. I think that's a really solid buy there. Um, I picked up a couple other TOTS cards today that I sent them to the club. At least just do a club stock because the reason why these cards end up going up in price is... EA keep releasing SBCs that require a team of the week or a team of the season. And a lot of people just turn in team of the season cards because that's what they have in the club. And team of the seasons are much higher rated, which help out with the rest of the rating of the SBC. So at 18, 20,000 coins a piece, I believe last year, uh, a lot of these guys ended up going to about high 20, 30,000 coins for a team of the season card a few weeks down the line after team of the season. So what I would tell you to do is go on to Footbin and look up some of the cheapest team of the seasons by rating. Um, and there's going to be a new League of Tots, League of Portugal, coming in on um, Sunday, tomorrow, which will bring new Tots cards in as well. I like the 89 rateds because 89s at their cheapest are also about 17, 18K. Can't go too much lower than that for those. So I like the 89 rated Tots cards there, like Kim and Jay and these guys from the Turkish League that are in packs right now. 
in DA for 20,000 coins as a 90 rated. You can't go wrong. And then even some of these 91s, I'm pretty sure like Toribo and Cabela were like 22K at their lowest point. That's not a bad shout there as well. But I would try to stick to the lower tier cards because if you're just kind of going for an investment off of a player uh, team of the season requirement, then uh, you're probably just going to need the middle to low tier ones because those will be going up the most in value, right? A card goes from under 20,000 coins to hopefully somewhere around 30K in a month's time or so. That's the potential for this investment. I would say it's a really good time to start to look into that. Maybe not go all in just yet, but start stocking your club before uh, that investment becomes really, really popular and people start doing that everywhere. That's one thing that I would start to do here pretty soon on this game. Hop on bids as well. It's going to be a great place to go uh, for those. And again, like I mentioned, there'll be new TOTS cards. It'll probably be fodder right away on Sunday tomorrow with Liga Portugal. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. But speaking of the rest of fodder, guess what? It is back down, but not before it had a really, really nice spike yesterday because of that flash SBC that we had mentioned. Rafinha and all these 83s are back down to about 2,000 coins, but they had a really crazy spike going all the way to 3K yesterday because that flash SBC required um, two different squads, one of them an 83 rated squad, and uh, a lot of people needed low tier fodder, right? From 2K all the way to 3.4K. A lot of coins were drained yesterday on this game, which again doesn't also or does also impact how prices are moving on this market right now. So I would start to look at these cards. They could go lower today. Like we've seen the past couple of weeks, you can probably wait to buy your fodder until Saturday night into Sunday uh, because that's when the new Icon SBC or Hero SBC comes out is on Sundays. And uh, as of right now, fodder is low enough to club stock. 86 is at 8K? Really? 8.7, 8.8. Wow, that's some really low prices there for those. Um, I still like 84s in the low 3K range. I think 83s need to drop some. I want to see those at like 1.6, 1.7. Uh, but I really like the low tier side of the fodder market once again. Just like every single week, most of those cards have done pretty well. We'll be looking into that tomorrow. Now, the SBC content that we could be getting today, we've got two leaked SBC players. Labatka as a central midfielder. Um deserved for sure probably not the most expensive sbc could be very similar to like the mav didi that we had um last week on saturday probably not a big day of content today pretty quiet ish day we also could have fantasy foot cordal but that's an option for a sbc we could have today as well so we'll have to see which one they go ahead and choose and then also we're going to have one of our daily challenge sbcs inside of the objective section here for uh xp so yeah Syria season swaps xp tots tot swap challenge eight will be dropped today as well watch out for a tradable pack not expecting it but it could be there so that is definitely one thing to watch out for today content wise if you're on the chase for that level 30 xp which i am on man that level 30 player pick is not good but i think i'm gonna go for it just for the gamble and rabio is still 1.3 million coins i might have to take the cash here pretty soon because Man, these guys are pretty rare, and I know they could go up a little bit more this morning, but also one thing to be careful with with these TOTS cards today is just remember that when we have those player picks like that in the store, they get supplied a lot more, which means they probably are not going to be as good for fluctuation trades uh, because they will start to drop down um, a few hours before the content today as people start selling the card that they were trying out and there's a lot more supply on the market they're just prone to some more price drops so what a crazy day it was yesterday on this game um it's nice to have the Serie A team of the season cards a decent amount cheaper now after their price drops but it is not very fun losing coins so let me know how you found this tots release yesterday down in the comments i want to hear about it i want to hear who you packed i had a crazy day of packs yesterday and i'm hoping for upgrade packs to be just as crazy throughout the rest of this week uh even as we head towards ultimate team of the season that is confirmed by some pack code that's been added. So we'll be talking about that in the coming days as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Fukan. Catch you guys later. Peace out.